Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be discussing the real estate widget. The real estate widget is an easy way to add and organize listings for real estate and property such as housings and apartments and it even gives you a nice XML feed that you can download which lets you upload that those listings onto other websites such as Facebook or other real estate websites. So in order to create a real estate widget you'd simply add a new widget and scroll down to real estate once you've created that it's going to open the widget and we're just going to open this just to see how it works as an example this is going to be empty the list items and the page is going to be blank so in order to add a new property to that particular widget you would simply click add a new item to the list and we're going to go ahead and add an item and go through all the details to see exactly how easy it is to add property to this particular widget. So once you've opened up that particular item, you would simply fill out all the forms one by one. And they're pretty simple once you actually get into it. Anything that has a little F and Facebook logo next to it means that you have to fill out those fields if you want this to be compatible with Facebook. If you miss any one of these fields, it's not going to upload properly. So just keep that in mind. For the property type, you'd simply choose what type of property it is, such as an apartment. And the availability, you would choose whether it's for rent, for sale, or the sales pending, or recently sold, whatever you want to do, or available soon. And the listing type is basically who's selling it. If it's for for rent by owner, agent, or if it's foreclosed, or it's a new construction, or a brand new listing. Currency is obviously the, the price currency. And this is the actual price of the property. So here's where you would enter the price of that particular property. You can see these have the prices right underneath them. Now, the display price, that is what's going to show instead of the regular price if you enter anything here. So this is basically going to override anything written in the price and the currency and it's going to show that instead. If you leave it blank, it's going to show the regular price and the currency. So you see if I save this, it only shows the 30,000 because that's the only thing we have filled here. But if we can enter anything we want in the display price, for example, if we want to accept, you know, 10 goats, you enter that and that'll now display instead of the regular price. And if you want to display the actual price, you'd simply leave this blank. So that can be used to enter other information, other prices, or, you know, other forms of currency. And the size is where you would enter the size related to the, the square unit. So if it's square meters or square feet. So you'd enter the size of the particular property. And then the property features, you would highlight which features it has. So if it has a balcony or a lift or air conditioning, you'd highlight them. You can highlight multiple features by holding down the control key, and then you can click multiple options. Right down here is you'd set the bedrooms and bathrooms, however many total bedrooms and bath are in the property, and the number of cars and parking spots. And you can also enter land size as well. So you see now it has updated it with the price. It has added the square footage and then the available features. You can see the little bed, the bath, and the car. So it does those little icons automatically so people already know what they're looking at. And here is where you would enter the street address. This is for Facebook, essentially. So you would enter whatever address for the property in here and then this is what Facebook is going to read now if you enter an address down here this is for the map so this is going to update the map and you can technically have different you know different addresses for the Facebook versus the map but whatever is here in the street address is what is going to be the primary address and whatever is here in the address for the map is only going to show when you open the article and when it's actually looking at the map. So keep that in mind. You can also put the neighborhood, the region, the state, and the country. This is all for uh, Facebook, so it would be necessary to fill all this in if you want this to be 
proper on Facebook. Below that is where you would enter the actual main content. So here is where you would put your actual title. And this is what's going to appear right there. So you can put, you know, whatever you want. And then the subtitle and then the main text is where you would actually put the information about that property. So you can see it has now created the title. And there's the map. And there's the info we just put. Whatever you put is going to appear right there. And you can even do pictures as well images and videos so simply upload an image from your computer of the property and then it'll automatically create the image right next to it so it's nice and easy to see you can see how everything's coming together really easily and nicely as we fill out all the forms and you can also add buttons for the last thing. So please watch the buttons tutorial to understand more about how buttons work, but buttons add a large variety of extra features. So please watch that tutorial. Once you have all of your property information, you have all of the details about the property, you have the title, addresses, and all of its features, bedrooms, bathrooms, and size all set, you make sure everything's saved. And then you can go back to the main real estate widget to continue adding more property or to organize your current listings. So simply click the real estate either in the top menu here or you can scroll down to the bottom and click the back button to go back. Once you have all of your property set, you can organize the additional options and determine whether this is seen only on mobile or desktop and whether they have to be logged in to actually view any of the property. And the additional styles are just like all the other widgets. Desktop space can be determined as well as the margins. And if you know any CSS, you can add custom classes and manage the background as well. So it's pretty simple and very easy to use once you get into it. You'd simply fill out all the information. And it'll, it'll automatically create a nice real estate listings for you. Now, if you want to send this to another website or maybe upload this to, to Facebook, you would simply click download XML feed and that'll get the entire feed of all the property that you can copy and paste to another site that would accept that XML feed. And that is the real estate widget. Very easy to use and simple. Simply add all of your property, fill in all the details, and then it'll organize them for you nice and neatly.